Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you are new here, welcome to the channel. It has been so incredibly long since we have posted on YouTube. We have been pretty active on TikTok. So if you are not already following along there, please go and do that. You can find us on TikTok at Bethany Locke and Jonas Locke. Um, that being said, we are about to start getting back into the family vlogging. And so we have so many exciting updates that we wanna share with you guys. But before we do that, I have a full day ahead of me of work and running errands. And so I am in Denver now for a meeting. I'm going to be doing a few other things. And then I'm hoping that tonight Jonas and I can sit down and kind of let you guys know what has been going on in our lives. But we are so excited to share it with you guys. So excited to get back into the swing of things. This last year has been so crazy and it has allowed so much time to pass by without really doing as much as we should have been in terms of like making memories. Um, our kids, believe it or not, our kids absolutely love YouTube and filming for YouTube. And so it is simultaneously a great way to make memories with our kids and also um, to kind of get back in the swing of family vlogging, which we really enjoy doing. So follow along for that. Um, and that is pretty much what I'm doing today. Before we get too deep in anything today, I do just want to give a little bit of like a hint of kind of some of the things that are going to be changing um, and some of the things that we have been talking about. And the biggest thing, and I think that more like <laughs> I'm pretty excited, but I'm hoping that some of you guys are excited too. But the biggest thing is that Jonas and I have made the decision to have more children. If you have followed along for a long time, you're probably confused because you're thinking like, didn't he get a vasectomy? He did. And he also got it reversed. So that is where we are at. We're planning on making a whole sit down video talking about that. Um, but our family dynamic is going to just continually be changing over the next year or two. And we are so incredibly excited to um, just really re-embrace that dynamic of our lives because we have accidentally gotten so busy with working that it has allowed so much stuff to slip us by. So that is the plan and I am so excited. So just follow along for more info about that. I wanted to touch on probably one of the biggest things that deterred me from creating content for YouTube um, because I did continue over the last year to film content for TikTok and I'm gonna explain the reason why. Um, when we were doing content for YouTube, something really annoying started taking place which was basically when you're doing a vlog, obviously, um, and if you've watched any of our vlogs, like I love to use music as like background music or whatever. And so for the sake of creating content, there is like platforms specifically for copyright free um, music and specifically YouTube has um, YouTube, I forget, yeah, YouTube music, oh no, audio library. YouTube has audio library, which is all copyright free music. And it's supposed to be artists that are basically trying to get out there, um, and get their stuff utilized, but it is copyright free, meaning that you can still monetize your videos. Um, even if you're using that music. Um, but what started happening is I was using that copyright free music, but there is like this big scam where basically, um, random people will basically use those copyright free background tracks and then they'll add lyrics over it or sing or whatever um and then they'll copyright it so suddenly and it's not legal what they're doing but what happens is it flags it in the system as copyright um or those creators are going and flagging it as copyright even though it's not their music um but then there's this whole dispute process that takes place of like trying to let youtube know that you were not using copyrighted music but in that process of disputing um, the problem and like the most annoying thing is that you're, if you are monetized, which we were up until we quit putting content out on YouTube, um, what would happen is those funds for that you had made from ad revenue of that video would go into an escrow account that would be distributed once the dispute process is completed. And there has been some disputes that I have literally filed that are fully, like I know for a hundred percent fact that the track is copyright free. I'm allowed to use it. There's no reason I should be getting a claim. Um, but some of the disputes that I do that, that copyright owner then is coming back and still saying that their claim is valid. And so they kind of like almost have a higher, um, like preference to YouTube. I feel like, like YouTube is prioritizing those, um, content 
copyright claims over cr like protecting creators from stuff like this, I guess. Um, and so I kept disputing it and I kept trying to get in contact with YouTube to let them know what was going on. And no matter what I did, I felt like it just kept happening, kept happening. And then especially like over the last year, I have seen and gotten so many more of those claims. And I feel like it's just these people that are basically taking advantage of small content creators who don't really have a legal team or anyone to basically defend what they are doing and what they're putting out. Um, but they're creating a really hard situation to be successful with when you're constantly having to dispute. So I kind of landed on like two things. The first was that I could just stop using the music altogether. And that was a legitimate thought. But the second was just like, I was feeling frustrated as a platform with YouTube because I felt like I should be able to use this copyright free music without any problem. Um, but I'm not being able to without problem. I've been doing TikTok for a long time and so when that stuff started happening and I noticed that it was just a lot easier to produce content and utilize music on TikTok without running into those same issues until now, um, but running into those same issues, um, it just made it easier for me to create content for TikTok and I just kind of put YouTube on the back burner. Um, but that being said, now TikTok is somewhat in the same situation. A lot of the music has been pulled as I'm sure you're probably aware if you use TikTok at all. Um, all of the stuff that's been going on with that. Um, and so it kind of led me back down the path of just trying to take control of the situation and not allowing all the like annoying parts with the music to interfere with it. But anyways, the goal is to get back to creating content for YouTube. And I don't know yet. I haven't decided like if I'm just going to not use the music at all or I don't know. I guess we'll see with this video that I'm that I'm doing right now. But um, if you have any feedback on that, and if you think the music makes a big difference, let me know. Um, if you think it doesn't matter, just do it without music. That is kind of where I'm leaning towards right now. I don't know. Um, that being said, I just got to the grocery store. I'm gonna get some groceries. I need some stuff because me and Jonas have both been eating really healthy. We've both been tracking all of um, our nutrition with my fitness pal. Um, and we are just both trying to be a lot healthier. So, um, there's some stuff that I need from the store. So I'm going to grab that stuff now. Um, and then I'll be home and I'll show you Jonas and the kids. I don't even think we've ever shown you guys our new home, but we do own a home now. <laughs> so well, yeah, that'll be, don't know about our house. no, that'll be a whole other thing that we'll have to address, but we do own a house. It is quite messy right now. And also Tatum is um, not clothed, so I cannot really show you. All right, Jonas. So let me ask you, how does it feel to be a real man again? <laughs> how does it feel to have had a vasectomy reversal? What kind of questionnaire is this? Can I have new questions? No, it was, it was all right. You know, it, it would only hurt for like a couple of weeks. It was only like the worst pain of my life. You know, it wasn't too bad. 10 out of 10 recommend. Yeah, yeah, it was fine. That's fine. I, I would do it again. Yeah, for fun. No, it was horrible. It was absolutely <laughs> horrible. I couldn't walk. I was crying like a little baby just to walk. I had to have the guy at the airport push me around. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. I cannot believe you're so name. embarrassing. And then they did a whole entire um, security sweep on me. They made me go into the back room and strip my pants down after I just did a surgery. And they had a check to make sure that I didn't have anything. So hey, Papa, stuff. are you okay? Uh -huh. Tucker, Tucker, Tatum, come here. Hey guys! Hi! My beautiful! Look how crazy your hair is looking! Oh, it didn't want notice. Show the boots. Boot check. Are you good, girl? Tatum's having a little bit of a rough day because she has a little bit of a hurt eye. And 
She's just being silly girl, huh? Ooh, yeah. How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? Good. Oh, good, good, good. Look at this guy with his crazy long hair too. You guys both have crazy hairs today. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you need a haircut. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah, I do. Tucker. Mm. Yeah. Hey, do you talk a little bit or a lot? A lot. Yeah, you do talk a lot, huh? <laughs> show me your show me your fastest speed of talking. Hey, I talk. <laughs> nice job. Hey. <laughs> nice. That was your whole life story. Yeah. Count to one billion, Can you count to Google, Can you count to Google really quick? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were going to actually count. Nice job, dude. Are you guys playing in the sandbox? Yeah. You guys are... But it's so very... Oh gosh, there's lots of doggy poopoos. Daddy needs to clean the doggy poopoos. Make sure you're not stepping in it, okay? Or not stepping in it. <gasps> no, I didn't, but I almost did. Guys, are you guys cold? Uh-uh. We're not cold. Tucker, it's so cold though. No! I see the moon! I see the moon. Oh yeah, I, I see the moon too. Yeah. It's making a sand oh, I love it. We need to buy you some more sand, huh? We need to clean it out for the summer. Twin. Where, Where have, have you been? been? Nobody knows me. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> me and Tatum just made that video on TikTok yesterday. It was so cute. My number's not four yet. It's three. You know how old you are. You're three. Yeah. Can you say I'm three? It's three. Okay, what do you have? A butterfly bracelet. It's so pretty. Yeah. Just ignore the rest of the fit. We're just, we just threw some stuff together. So as I mentioned earlier, my hope is for Jonas and I to do a sit down video kind of talking about our plans coming up and the vasectomy reversal and all things trying to conceive. Um, clearly the current plan in place is that here over the next few months, we are going to be starting trying to have another baby. We're super excited about that. And Jonas is so excited because he already offered, he's going to do all the sleepless nights and I'm going to sleep through, I'm going to have a great time. <laughs> Definitely follow along on TikTok if you are not already doing so. Um, it is Bethany Locke and Joni. It's Joni. Joni. <laughs> it's Bethany <Joni> Locke. There. <laughs> Bethany Locke and Jonas Locke. Um, all I have rest. All I have left the rest of the day is just like my typical evening routine, which is gonna be right Maybe now. Rising. No, I have been doing the twelve by three, twelve three thirty. Okay, so if you haven't heard of that, it's 12 incline three speed for 30 minutes on the treadmill. I've been doing that actually every day for a little over two weeks now. Um, and so I'm gonna be doing that tonight and then I will be um, eating dinner, getting the kids put to bed. And that is the plan.